Welcome, fellow collectors and investors, to the realm of silver treasures. Today I present you a coin that transcends mere metal and becomes a symbol of timeless conflict, the 2023 Golden Eagle Bullion Coin from Malta. On the obverse side, a majestic golden eagle takes flight, its powerful wings spread wide, talons outstretched, its piercing gaze reflects unwavering determination as it engages in a ferocious battle with a cunning serpent. The detailed engraving catches the struggle, the tension palpable in each feather and scale. The eagle represents strength, courage, and freedom, while the serpent embodies deception, temptation, and darkness. This depiction is not merely a battle of nature, it is a timeless metaphor resonating with the human experience, the ever-present conflict between our noble aspirations and the insidious pull of negativity. I often say the best coins are the ones that not only offer a physical reflection, but also offer an internal reflection. So is this fantastic coin right for your collection? Is this a coin you should look out for? Let's find out today on The Culture of Currency. The Eagle and the Serpent, which in this case is a golden eagle and what looks to be a viper. This is a timeless representation of good over evil that spans many cultures. We can see elements of this theme present in places like Mexico, Albania, Egypt, Austria, Russia, and even Montenegro. I've already done a video over the culture and history of Malta, which looks like this, so I'm not going to rehash those ideas, but rather just remind you that the geography and structure of stone in Malta made it a perfect fortress for controlling trade in various empires. It would be my conclusion that the idea featured on this coin of the eagle and viper date back to ancient Greek and Roman traditions. The Romans, as we know, championed the eagle as their sigil, whereas the Greeks coined the golden eagle to be the favored bird of Zeus. Both cultures claim the snake to be a cunning deceiver, like in Hebrew and Christian traditions, but Greeks also considered them to be medicinal, which is a topic for another video. Now that you understand this coin a little bit, let's place it on our 60-point scale to see if it can rest on the Mount Olympus of bullion coins claiming elite status. 50 points or higher is what is needed. When we look at the obverse of the coin, we are met with what is a true work of art. The ornamentation is classicism at its best. There is structure and form. There is focus and balance. There is texture and intention. We have the coat of arms of the Central Bank of Malta in full focus, adorned by the wreaths of palm, rose, olive, and lily. Five euros is the denomination, and we see four nines present. We also see a sight for sore eyes. Take a look to the lower right of the knight on the right. Under the point of the Maltese cross is a mint mark of the world-class Germania mint who strike this coin on behalf of Malta. When an artist makes a masterpiece, he or she should sign it. Germania mint has done just that. This is what a perfect obverse looks like and it scores a 10. When we move to the reverse, we are met with our feathered friend of our focus and the scaled serpent of our weakness as humans. What an epic scene that lays before us. I find this representation most rewarding as I find it is designed in a way that honors the classical art as well as makes it inviting to study one's own actions. This image is careful not to dictate a clear winner as a firm grasp is had by the eagle, but the viper is well within its deadly range with teeth drawn. This reminds me of my life daily. Some days, the good deeds I have done rule the day, while others are dictated by the poisonous influence of the deceiver. Any coin that causes reflection is a net good for humanity. This coin goes beyond that, offering one of the most beautiful depictions I have ever seen. I've said it once and I will say it again. Malta has got to be one of the best new nations in the bullion industry from a design standpoint. As we look beyond the fauna, we see a background of waves depicting the Mediterranean Sea, and towards the rim we see a subtle texture of scratch limestone, which to me shows the conflict that has been ongoing. This side is perfection, and I score it a 10. As any Greek would remind you, even Achilles has a weakness. This coin's weakness is its mintage. It has a higher mintage amount than many collectible bullion coins, but it still hosts way less than the world bullion coins of, let's say, a Philharmonic. The number minted is listed at 100,000, but there is a, pun intended, silver lining. This means that you can probably find one if you look hard enough. Mintage scores a 6. 
Cultural significance is next. Malta is an island that, as covered in previous videos, has a blending of cultures given its geographic location. It has some of the oldest monolithic structures and even has biblical record as Paul shipwrecked on this island and was documented to have been bitten by a viper here before he appealed his case to Caesar. Be it Phoenicians, Carthaginians, Greeks, Romans, Normans, or any other of the host of cultures that ruled this island, the lesson of the golden eagle and snake lasted and were carried from one historical period to another, and now around the world as we talked about being found even on the Mexican flag today. The significance is beyond profound, and that scores a 10. Collectability is next. At first glance, seeing this coin, I would have assumed it was extremely low mintage and a high price point. I would be wrong. I paid around $30 at Atmex for this coin, and as mentioned, it has 100,000 minted. Many coins at Atmex are less expensive and less minted, and are still for sale while this coin is out of stock. This validates my belief that this is an extremely collectible coin. It is beautiful, and it is in its inaugural year. I scored a 10. Now for uniqueness. We often see the Perth Mint's wedged-tailed eagle with snake as a marker for the eagle and snake coins. Our featured friend is not only a different species in the golden eagle, but it's a completely different design. There is a call to the ancient drachma in this coin, but I cannot find anything like it in today's market. That means I must score it a 10, which brings it to our final thoughts and score. This Golden Eagle coin soars across the line at 56 out of 60, not only making it an elite coin, but also making it one of the highest coins ever featured on this channel. It is everything I could ask for in a coin as it features some of the best imagery I have seen all year. It has prestige and a sense of notable art form. It causes one to pause and think on the human condition. It is in all essences as close to a perfect coin as I could ask for, with the exception of possibly mintage. This is a coin for all people in all places. Thank you so much for watching, and please remember, as always, to stay classy and current with the culture of currency.